let's talk about sports. Let's jump into this. Zion Williamson. Holy mackerel, what have we got going on here? Uh, this is everything that we hate about the NCAA, right? Uh, this is the big wigs siding together and deciding what they want to think is okay and what's not okay, right? Uh, all of this stuff that has come out in the lawsuit right now with Gina Ford, his his former marketing agent, uh, what what she says is he needs to come out and admit like exactly where he got the money to pay for uh, that house that was what is it valued at like nine hundred fifty thousand dollars? Nine hundred fifty thousand dollars. So yes. they they were paying rent at a house in South Carolina, like the rent was eight hundred dollars a month, and and at this home it would be closer to forty five hundred dollars a month. On top of that, they didn't really have great vehicles before, and then once he gets to Duke, all of a sudden they've got three incredibly nice vehicles, an Escalade, three luxury cars. Yeah, it's luxury three cars. luxury cars. It's three Mercedes, yeah. Lexus. Cadillacs, that three yeah. luxury cars. And incredibly expensive, whatever. Now, the NCAA has already looked at this, and they cleared it. They yep. cleared it beforehand. Like, everything was on the up and up, they said. Now, the NCAA knew, before anything else, that Zion's dad got $150,000 as a consultant for Nike last year. So, when he was part of the EYBL circuit, all that kind of mess, uh, he got paid $150,000. Now, that can obviously upgrade what you're doing, right? Like, if you're living at a home that costs $800 a month to rent, well, you get $150,000 a year. That's going to boost you up to where you can rent more. The but you is, can't rent a $950,000 home and own luxury cars on $150,000. Agreed. It's Agreed. not that damn much money. No, it's not. It's not. You can rent cars. For that you can do whatever, but the no, the finances do not work out. The NCAA cleared it and said that they did, but we know that they don't. We also know that NCAA and Nike are in cahoots, and they have been forever. You don't want to pick a fight with Nike if you're the. That's NCAA. why they pick fights with. That's why they pick fights with Adidas. Well, they pick fights with Adidas because the FBI picked fights with Adidas. But it didn't matter. It didn't matter. They have they have just as much information that they could go in on this if they wanted to. Agreed. They choose, they choose not to. And that's our problem. It's Coach K is the biggest brand that they don't want to bring down. Yep. Duke, second biggest brand they don't want to bring down. And Nike, third biggest brand. They don't want to bring down. They don't want to bring these guys down. Adidas, yeah, we'll shit on them all day long. They are a stepchild. Yeah, but Nike gives so much money to NCAA member institutions that the NCAA doesn't want to mess with them. And that's where this all becomes a problem. Right, so I, I brought up to you earlier, the NCAA has enough here, and it's fishy enough that they could go just like they did to Memphis, where Derrick Rose, it was never proven nope. that he did not personally take that SAT. They had zero proof. Derrick Rose never talked to him. Nobody talked to him. They couldn't prove anything, and yet they still took Memphis's Final Four banners, put them on probation, took scholarships, whatever, right? After that, at, or before that, you had the Reggie Bush situation, which is the exact same situation. Yep, Reggie Bush's family got a big-ass house in San Diego that they couldn't afford, and the NCAA found it. And guess what? They got popped. And you know why they got popped? Because it was an agent. Yeah. Not well, no, it was just, it's the exact situation, by the way. Reggie didn't pay his marketing agent. Yep. Reggie didn't pay his marketing agent, and he lost his Heisman, and, 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 he, and a bunch of other stuff happened. Gina Ford is going to go down this exact same road. Oh, yeah. It, it is the exact same thing. Zion is trying to get out of paying Gina Ford for getting her, him, all the things that she's gotten him. Yep. And it, he wanted to sign with CAA. They're the biggest sports market. Well, I mean, one of the biggest uh, artist agencies in the world. CAA That's is fine. massive. That's, That's Jimmy fine. You got to pay. That. When you, you got to pay the people the on the way up. Gina Ford, I, I fully believe this. I fully believe this is not the last shell to be dropped. Okay. When oh, she came dude. out with the house and the cars. All right. They first brought the lawsuit and asked for the money. No one paid them off. Not Nike, not Duke, not the NCAA, not Zion. I can't believe nobody stroked a check. So she dropped two big bombs this week. I assure you, she's got more cards to play. I, and I, for the entertainment value, kind of hope that they keep telling her, we ain't paying you nothing. Yeah. 
I, and they I, just keep dropping bombs because the worst case scenario is that nothing happens to Duke, but the shine is off that apple and the exposure of how rotten and gross the NCAA really is of how they hand pick. Man, I'm telling you, if I was Auburn, I'm not a Nike school. I'm an Under Armour school, and Nike wants these schools, wants the NCAA to go after these Adidas and Under Armour schools more. I Screw you. F you. I am not cowering down. I don't care how many violations you've got on us. We're going to play our games. We're going to start our guys. We're going to put our coach out there, and you can go kick rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Because you pick and choose when you want to pick a fight and who you want to pick a fight with based off what benefits you. The NCAA is rotten to the core. Oh, 100%. Uh, Jump into these comments here. Matt said, all colleges are cheating. Some get caught, others don't. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Uh, And it's not that some get caught and some don't. It's what Michael said next. He said the NCAA picks and chooses their victims. I mean, period. Joseph Listen, Gomez hang on. Said, this is why I beat my chest four years ago, three years ago, when Ole Miss was getting crushed for having a cat sleep on a coach's couch yeah. as an NCAA level one violation for a kid getting some gym shorts at a sporting goods store, local Oxford sporting goods store, for a guy getting a hunting trip. This dude got a million dollar home and three hundred thousand dollars worth of cars, and nothing's happening. And you're worried about some gym shorts, a dude sleeping on somebody's couch? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Taking them hunting and fishing? That's the shit you're worried about? Why? Because you beat Bama twice, and we can't have that. Sorry, Nick. This is just the truth, though. No, it's it's, it's all good. I understand it. But it's how the NCAA works. They're in bed with the big boys, and they don't want anybody else to ever come to the table. And if you think you're close enough to the sun, you're going to be Icarus. We give you everybody else gets wax, wax wings. You get too close to the sun, they melt, you fall, we crush you. That uh, that was a really good analogy there. Really nice. That's what done. the NCAA is. No, agreed. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, is it that hard to figure out? You're spending 10 times what you make, and you're not doing anything shady. I don't believe you. And then Michael jumped back in. He said, if they look hard enough, they can find violations at every program guaranteed. Yes, yep. because yep. everybody's got to find a way to get these kids to sign with their school because if you don't have players, you don't win. And if you don't win, coaches don't keep their jobs. So they are going to continue to do this until the end of time. There will always be a way to get around the rule book. That's just the way it is. And Duke is not clean. They're not squeaky clean. They're not anything. They're exactly like Kentucky, like all these other programs. Coach Cal is the poster boy for being the mobbed up looking, you know, dirty swindle you know, every slime ball of the NCAA that everyone points to and says, this is not what we want. This is not what we want. This is not what we want. Coach K is the model citizen. I'm going to tell you they're the same damn person, which is why I'm a cow defender and I'm always going to be a cow defender. Yes. Yes. I agree with you. Always. I agree with you hundred percent, hundred percent. So I don't think this will be the last that we see of this. It at this point, I am still shocked that we have not had a buyout. We have not had a settlement yet. I can't Nike, I can't believe Nike and Duke, two monster brands with limitless pockets, yeah. haven't stepped up and said, you're asking for $100 million. You're not going to get $100 million. If we gave you 10 tomorrow, that, that would be an accounting error to those two cats. Right. Just make her go away, yeah. which I hope they don't. I hope they don't. I, I want to keep seeing shells drop. I mean, I don't know that the NCAA will ever do anything about this. No. But it's still nice to see it come out there because it, it takes that shine off the apple. Michael jumped in. It he shows said, us uh, the core that they are. Exactly. Michael said, uh, no offense, Gary, but do you think those five stars are going to Bama for their science department? Give me a break. You can say the same for every school. Yeah. Uh, and Joseph said, can I apply for my three credits in Greek mythology after listening to Winning Cures Everything? A hundred percent. Just get Chris to sign your paperwork. <laughs> But yet, going back to Michael, I already know. Everybody cheats. I've been saying it on this show for years. It, it's not like I think that they're clean. LSU is not clean. Alabama is not clean. You cannot win if you are squeaky clean. It's just not possible. So, no, I don't think that they're going for the science department. Maybe literature, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're, we love seeing this come out, even if nothing ever ultimately happens um but it, it's it's nice to see 
somebody standing up to these bigger institutions. The smart play for players like this, for Reggie Bush, for Zion Williamson, which do you remember the uh, the agent's name for Reggie Bush? Uh, yeah, it was the guy. Oh, uh, God. It's like two first names, Matthew Matthewsons or My- something like that. Michael Michaels. Michael Michaels, that was it. Yeah, I knew I knew it was an M name that was twice. You remember, did, did you listen to the Yahoo Sports podcast last yeah, night? I heard Wetzel. Wetzel's yeah, the best talking at about, all of this, by Talking the way. about Will Ferrell uh, yeah. with his Chaz Michael Michaels uh, character. Fantastic. That's I, I love that. Uh, but, yeah, pay off the people that, that you start working with. Just the thing pay them is, off yeah, and get you, them out of the you, way. These people got you that house. Gina Ford, you know why she knows about the house? Because she's the one that got you the damn house. You know yeah. how she knows about the cars? She worked the deals. Yes. Everybody, listen, Zion brings the most to the talent, which is the, which is his with the most to the table, which is his talent. Okay. Yes. Duke brings the facility, whatever. Somebody the has to work these deals because Duke and the player can't negotiate deals. That's how you get caught. All yes. right. Which means you need somebody to make these deals happen. Nobody ever wants to pay that person. That's bullshit. You have to pay that person. Yeah. When they had they the information. They did a job. They did a job. We all agreed to the terms of the job. Duke got what they wanted. Zion got what he wanted. You got to make sure she gets what she wants. A hundred percent. Michael said, reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Blue Chips. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nick Nolte, oh, yeah. Penny Hardaway, Shaq, all that. Fantastic movie, if you go back and watch. I mean, it's. The, the the subject is great. Uh, I don't know how great the movie was, but it you know. <laughs> Damien said All right, the NCAA, it's a good movie. It's fine. Uh, Damien said the NCAA cheats more than Bill Clinton. Probably. Oh yeah, the NCAA is the worst. So. 